Hey, I'm Joel Stein, I'm here at Sundance. A lot of people come here very interested in film, people making art. I'm gonna leave that for the HBO people. We here at Cinemax are gonna try and go to as many parties and drink as much as possible. Let's go find some celebrities, preferably naked ones. Should I be wearing sunglasses throughout Sundance? Only if you had a, a night like I did. Were there people hanging out with you? I had sex with 12 women last night. Most underage? Oh, no, all in their 60s. <laughs> you know, as I'm getting older, the quality of the girls is changing, you know? But not the quantity. Not the quantity. You keep the quantity <laughs> Absolutely, steady. Absolutely, man. I hit every nursing home in town now, man. Here with Trevor Groff, who runs Sundance. What's your official title? I'm senior programmer. This is a really hard week for you. It's a busy week. I love doing it and I get a lot of energy actually from the reactions to the films. And then you have your own festival in Vegas, Cine Vegas. Yes, correct. You allow nudity at Cine Vegas, I assume. We prefer it, absolutely. Yeah, okay, yes, good. Yes. You're with Anthony Edwards who doesn't like to tuck. Obviously my wife didn't come with me, so. She would have made you tuck? I don't know. In a movie with Uma Thurman and Amy Driver, I don't care about me. Did you make love to both those women in the film? Yeah, in my mind. In the Cinemax version. The Cinemax, oh, all right. And the movie Manure is largely about shit. It's exactly about shit, yeah. Did you learn a lot about manure? If you do the research or don't re do the research, the performance will probably be exactly the same. Like if you're gonna play a street person, you go live for one night on Fifth Street downtown LA in a cardboard box with your security guards, probably right. not gonna make your performance any better as a street person. So you didn't hang out with a lot of manure salesmen? No. I never went up in a space shuttle when I was in Armageddon. I, you know. <laughs> We're here with Whitney Pastorek at Entertainment Weekly. Yeah, it's Pastorek, by the way. It's a good thing you're on Cinemax. You're gonna take your shirt off at some point, Will right? Will this be on after dark? We pay you an extra 50. I'm fine. <laughs> the difference between doing a festival in Park City, Utah and Las Vegas, Nevada is, you know, Strippers. you're going to have some... <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Benjamin Bratt, Peter Bratt, they worked on the movie La Mission. La Mission. La Mission. La Mission. You sound French, <laughs> man. You sound yeah. French. <laughs> the center of the story is someone who was a former bad boy, now just a humble bus driver, but still considered one of the baddest Chicanos on the block. He discovers that his son is gay and he has a violent reaction to it. So what the story is about is a potential road to redemption. And you're the dad. I'm the father. Are you old enough to play a dad to an 18 year old? How old do you think I am? Look closely. <laughs> you got a couple years on me. I'm gonna put you at like 41. I like this like guy. You. <laughs> you have yesterday's eyes. Yes, I have yesterday's eyes. That's my favorite eyes. phrase you use. That's I'm a song. Actually, well, I'm already writing it. Don't rip me off. It's on the next record. But uh, I've only had three beers today so far. It's almost noon. I what are you doing? Shit, it's like eight o'clock in Ireland. <laughs> There's another song, by the way. What do you do all day? I see movies. You know, I've seen more boobs at the Sundance than I think I've seen in the last five years combined. Brooklyn's Finest was like boob, boob, dead by gunshot, boob. Coming to Cinemax. <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> Who's the best interview so far? Um, the women of Push were the best interview. That's not, you know, no one knows who you're talking about. Push? You don't know anything about film, do you, Joel? It's a serious crowd, these Sundance people. I know, right? Last night at, at the Q&A at Manure, nobody asked a question. It was a huge theater, and it was just completely silent. Nobody asked a question? No, I just couldn't help it. I went up and, and answered an imaginary question. You did? All the questions are usually just about how much they know about film. And they found a flaw, and they'll talk to you about that. And she's like, fuck you, dude, you know? Get back behind your computer and put some more salve on your goiter. You know? <laughs> Yet a third crazy. song I think we got out of this interview. <laughs> Gonna have both our names on it. <laughs> no, that's yours. It's all yours.